Welcome back everyone. Today's episode unboxing slash review and I will be talking about the XP Pen AC19 from XP Pen. If you're brand new to this channel, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss our upcoming videos. This video is brought to you by jflorcha.com. More about that later. If you are a digital artist, you know it's crucial to have your hotkeys in your fingertips. This is where this keypad comes along. Even if you are not a digital artist, you can still use this keypad to control your media player and I will show you how to set it up in a moment. My Gammon PD22 already have touch buttons. The problem is, I don't want my arm rested on the table while drawing. So with wireless remote, I can place my hand anywhere without stressing my elbow. Inside the box, you have the AC19 keypad, a USB dongle, and a manual. Removing the USB dongle for the first time will be a little harder, especially if you have a shorter fingernail, so you might want something sharper to pry it out. There is a rubber padding on the back to keep it in place if you wanted to put it on your pen display. Battery is not included from the package. Here is your toggle switch. There is no on off label here, but just remember, we read from left to right, zero is off, one is on. And you can see this in most of the rocker switch. So off is left and on is right. Now on the front, you have nine programmable buttons. The keys are somewhat similar to older laptops. You also have this wheel controller which comes with four different functions and you can access each function by pressing the button. The wheel has raised dots so your finger won't slip. You can also feel and hear the increments while you spin it. Before we can use this device, we need a couple of things. Put the battery in, turn the toggle switch to on, plug in the USB dongle to USB port, and install the driver. You can find the download link for the driver from your manual. On select product category, choose AC series, then click on the image, click on the download button according to your operating system. Now locate the zip file, extract it, install, open the application. Here you can change the configuration for the keys and for the roller. I will be creating hotkeys for Photoshop but feel free to use any software you want. First we need to add the software that we are going to make for the shortcut keys for. Click on the plus icon, click on the browse and look for the Photoshop. If you don't know where the path directory for your application, right click on the icon from your desktop click on open file location right click the address from the top click on copy address as text open up the notepad paste the address and here we can navigate on the software after adding the photoshop make sure it's highlighted before we make any changes I will be using a setup that I have been using for a while now. Click any keys you want to change, choose customize, type any key or keys you want to assign. In my case, it's Control Z and let's name it undo, click OK. I will speed up the process for all the keys so you won't get bored. To remove the existing key, just click on delete or clear. Now before we close this out, I recommend making a backup of this configuration just in case the application crash and you lose all your hotkeys or if you accidentally reset to default. So to back up your configuration, make sure your software is highlighted. Click on the gear icon, click on export config, give it a name, choose the file location and save. To import the file, click on the gear icon, click on import config, browse to your file location and open. Here on the roller slash touch settings, if you want to keep more than one of these functions, I suggest that you keep the K10 as default, otherwise you will not be toggling between functions. I will be disabling all of these functions except for rotation. I have access with zoom by holding Z and dragging the pen. I can change the brush size by holding Alt and dragging the pen. I can also scroll by holding space and dragging the pen. So by removing these three functions, I can now assign an extra hotkey to K10 button. Now that we have covered Photoshop, it's time to configure this keypad to control your media player. If you watch a lot of movies from your desktop computer, you're probably using a spacebar from your keyboard to play or pause your movie, using arrow keys to adjust the volume, and you use the mouse to go to a different chapters. This is okay if you watch in front of your computer, but this can be annoying to keep adjusting the volume when you need it, especially when you are relaxing on the bed while watching. 
Speaking of relaxing, it's time to talk about jflorcha.com. Because of the internet, we don't have to go to library to find answers from your question or curiosity. We have tons of different search engines, but the most popular one is YouTube. You can now search and watch about everything. DIY projects, how to program, how stock market works, and so on. But if you are working full-time job, chances are you don't have a lot of time to follow along. Visit our website at www.jflorcha.com and watch our free live webinar every Tuesday and Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific time on how to start your own online business. All you need to do is enter your name, your email address, and click on register. That's it. Invest your extra time to learn how to start an online business now so you can have more time in the future to do whatever you want it to do. Again, our website is www.jflorcha.com. Now back to our video. I'm using MPC or Media Player Classic. You can Google MPC GitHub download, click on the first link, click on the latest update, scroll all the way down and download the file and install. For Media Player, I have listed the hotkeys corresponding to the commands that we are going to use. You can find all the hotkeys from Media Player by clicking the view, options, and keys. There is no corresponding key for the stop, so I will be assigning S. But first, I need to remove the S from its current file. You will find it all the way down on the next subtitle track. To remove the existing key, slowly clicking the key twice, click on the box and clear. Now to assign a new key, slowly clicking the blank area twice, enter the key, click apply. Open the pen tablet application. We need to add the media player classic. Make sure the MPC application is highlighted. We're going to use our note from earlier to configure our keypad. Before we close the application, we need to export the configuration for our media player. Here you can toggle what application you want to run on your AC19. Click OK and close it. You should now be able to rewind, pause, play, forward, previous episode, next episode, and stop. Now there are many key press remote for your drawing tablet out there, but this is the cheapest I found. Since this is my first key press remote, I cannot make any comparison between other products. So far I have been using this for about 3 months now and I don't have any issues. I have two painting time lapse video using this remote. You can check them out in our playlist. This is also our second video about product review. You can check out the first one in our playlist. The AC19 will not make you a better artist, but it can speed up your workflow. And for the price of $35.99, it's totally worth your money. I hope you enjoy watching this video as much as I enjoy making it. My name is Froyland and thank you for watching.